everybody, Ronaldo Waffman here with LED video manuals. Today we're gonna talk about, well, fixing that. You see that panel right there? It's the wrong configuration. Now that doesn't mean the panel is bad. It's just that there's always different color configurations for the panels. Uh, sometimes they're right, sometimes they're wrong, sometimes they're different. In this case, it's different. Maybe this panel came from a different batch or a different screen altogether. And I've put it all together and crap. Now I've got two choices here. I can sit here and take this all apart or I can fix it. I'm gonna show you how to fix it and it's super easy. So we're gonna log in to the Nova LCT software like usual and I'm back in screen configurator. Now, first thing we need to do is we need to read the file from the card. So you'll see right here where it says read from the receiving card. We're gonna go ahead and just uh, read from the receiving card. In this case, I'll usually read the very first one. Another option you can do is you can just call Blizzard and they will mail you the email you the proper file. Now in this case, I'm at an event, I'm in the middle of nowhere, and I can't call Blizzard and ask them to email me a file. So I'm gonna get it myself. So I went ahead and just pulled that from receiving card number one, which is right here. And now we're gonna save this file. So once I've done that, and it's pulled all the information, we're gonna save to file, and we're gonna call this good configuration, or call it whatever the heck you want. But I'm just gonna call it good configuration. Done. Now saving the file isn't a necessary step because we just extracted the data and it's already there, but I like saving that file for future use. So now that we've got this file already loaded from the good receiving card, we're gonna send to receiving card. Da 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 da. Now we can send it to all of them and have them all be exactly the same, but um, I don't like messing with things that I already know work. So we're just gonna send it to that one bad card. So we're gonna choose specify receiving card and this little magic window pops up. Now this is on screen two right here that I've already set and I'm gonna select by topology or list. And there it is right there. It's receiving card two two. We're gonna hit send. And there it is. In just a few quick steps, that entire wall has been fixed. So now all the panels look consistent. Again, it's very important to save that file because you never know when you're going to need it again. What I actually do at events, whenever this happens or I need to change any kind of configuration in the file, I write where the event was, how many panels I had, um, and I just give it like a little serial number and then I name that file after that serial number. You don't have to do it that advanced. There's multiple ways of, you know, organizing it, but this is a really easy method of doing it. And I really hope this helps you out because one of the important things about having a nice, pretty LED wall, especially when you're using such great panels like the Blizzard Iris R3, so you wanna make sure everything looks consistent from one panel to the next, and this is a great way of doing it. Uh, now, you can actually kinda see right there, that one is kinda doing it too, so let's go ahead and do the same thing. So now we are going to send to a receiving card. We're gonna specify the receiving card. Screen one, select by topology, choose two one. And there it is. It's good to go, everything's been configured. So now that we've gotten the successful message, make sure you save it. And that way these parameters are written permanently in the receiving card. I love fast tutorials like this, and I certainly hope you do too. Most importantly, I hope they help you out. So remember, any questions, comments, etc., please make sure to leave them in the comments below. Most importantly, show some love to Blizzard for sponsoring these videos. And if you guys are looking for a great LED wall, one of the reasons that I work with Blizzard is because I saw the Nova Star TV6, I saw the Iris, I saw how easy it was to put together, and I'm like, I gotta get in on that. So. Any questions, etc., whatever, guys, leave them below. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great night and God bless. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more like it, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Gear it first, honest reviews, incredible gig logs, lots of tips and tricks, and more tutorials than any other YouTube channel. I guarantee it or your money back.